what's up and welcome back today is the first day of fall so of course i have to do a fall themed video we are baking pumpkin whoopie pies we are making a soup tis the season for some cozy warm and delicious homemade soups and also decorating i have like two pumpkins and a candle but we are decorating nonetheless and a little bit of cleaning i want to head down to my local one of my local stores around here has a bunch of pumpkins and moms and i want to decorate the front step um, for fall so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video we are i am channeling all of the fall vibes the colors i want to do oranges this year in the front uh whereas typically in the past i've done like whites and like light orange no i want to do like a little bit more of traditional fall colors this year because i'm craving it i'm into the greens and the oranges big time okay so first things first i want to head down to my local shop and grab pumpkins and mums <laughs> This is the pumpkin and mums situation that I am working with. So I decided to grab these two here. I think these are called like autumn bronze. No idea what color they're actually gonna look like. They had so many different variations. Um, but I decided to grab the ones that were not in bloom yet because I want them to last through uh, October. And then the whites tend to bloom super early. And so I grabbed two of these that still had some blooms that were not open but enough to at least make it you know look put together since some of the blooms are out and then these are the pumpkins that I grabbed so I wanted to do like I said a little bit more of some oranges and throw in some whites and greens just for some texture and variation and I think this will look more traditional but also a little bit more mature like mature i don't know a little bit more stylish since we have a bunch of different color variations i am super pumped i love this season i love mums i love pumpkins i love decorating with these colors like i've said a million times and um i did grab my little checkered uh doormat i got this from target years ago but they they've had it every year if they have it again i will definitely link it down below i think it was only 12 dollars when i got it um and so this is going to go on my doorstep as well i have to go ahead and clean it though because it's been raining and just super yucky so i want to go ahead and just scrub that off and it's going to rain tomorrow anyway so it's not really going to dry so i also want to move this fern into my house but i think i have to move it into the garage first to get like any bugs out of it because I'm sure there are tons of bugs living in there.
probably going to change this a million more times because I have no idea how to decorate a front step after all these years. So trial and error, I just kind of move things around and see what I what like looks good to me. I don't know what the rules are. I don't want it to be too symmetrical, but I think over here needs a little something else. I don't know. Um, I decided to put this on the striped side. I usually have it on the checkered side and then I have another one that says hello there pumpkin or hello pumpkin um, but that one unfortunately I had to throw away I had that made off of Etsy but it only lasted a couple years because it is so wet as you can see um, with the rain and whatnot and it just got ruined so this is all that I have and it's fine it's fine I'm unsatisfied but it's fine <laughs> I think once the flowers are in bloom, it will look a whole lot better and a little bit more put together. That's what I'm hoping. I think maybe this is out of place. You guys let me know in the comments. You're probably way better at decorating than I am. To really get in the fall spirit, I thought I would bake something pumpkin-y. And is that a word, pumpkin-y? It is today. So I am sharing with you some pumpkin whoopie pies. I did get this recipe off of Pinterest, and in hindsight, I would definitely make some changes. But I will link the recipe down below and also share with you um, what I'm doing right now. So three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, two and a half tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice mixed all together and then set that bowl aside. You're gonna do one cup granulated sugar, one cup dark brown sugar, one cup vegetable oil, three cups chilled pumpkin puree. This used a ton of pumpkin and in hindsight, I would use less because these came out pretty moist. <laughs> Sorry for that word. Um, two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. So you're gonna mix all of those wet ingredients together. And then you're supposed to pour, slowly pour the dry ingredients into the wet, but my bowl was not big enough, so YOLO. These went in a 350 degree oven on a wax lined cookie sheet for about 12 ish minutes until the toothpick came out clean. And this recipe made a ton. So I would definitely lessen the recipe for at least two of us. And I would probably take out some of the pumpkin puree because again, it, these were, I mean, these were absolutely insanely delicious, but they kind of fell apart when you ate them and then storing them it's unless you're eating them that same day, it might not matter. Anyway, I ended up making a cream cheese and maple frosting to go in the middle of these whoopie pies. I didn't have enough powdered sugar. Um, so I just kind of like eyeballed the ingredients using butter, cream cheese, maple syrup, and vanilla extract. And this came out so delicious and filling. If you guys give these a try, definitely let me know. Also, you can totally use my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies instead of these like whoopie pie cakes and those would be delicious as well.
So next up, I was putting out whatever little decorations I had on my coffee table, on my entryway, and on the stove. I had a few pumpkins and candles, and then as well as this, a little faux floral arrangement that I got from Target last year. They have very similar ones kind of every year in different color tones and patterns. Um, I did get this beautiful blanket from Target, and I absolutely love this color. Um, so I did drape it over the side of my couch. I keep playing around with it. I'm not one to just place it and know exactly where I want it and what looks good automatically. I kind of like fiddle around with things until I'm happy with them. And um, yeah, I absolutely love this color of the blanket. They do have a beautiful marigold version of it. And I think that one's gorgeous as well. If you love the smell of apple in the fall or apple things, you will absolutely love this apple cider scent from Mrs. Myers. It's an all-purpose cleaner. They always come out with seasonal scents and I just love the apple cider. It brings me right back to my childhood because I remember my mom and my friend's parents always burning apple candles, especially in the fall, and it just felt so cozy and it brings me right back, uh, right back to those cozy feelings. Um, so I go ahead and I clean all the surfaces and add just little touches around the house here and there. I'm switching out the hand soap for a more seasonal scent that I bought at Target. I think this one was like vanilla and orange citrus smell with some clove in there and um, adding like little pumpkins here and there. I do have plans on adding little Halloween accents to Sydney's playroom and she's so excited for it. Um, I'm going to wait a couple more days to do that because I ran out of time today. I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys a roasted tomato basil soup recipe for dinner. It was absolutely delicious and it's so easy. I love making homemade soups in the fall and definitely let me know if you guys try any of these recipes. Tag me on Instagram. I'm Trey Shake Mama over there as well and I will uh, have the recipes linked in the description box below as well. So for this roasted tomato basil soup, the first thing that you're going to want to do is roast those tomatoes. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees and I used nine Roma tomatoes. Cut them in half. You're going to put them on a cookie sheet lined with either like wax paper or uh, aluminum foil and then drizzle it with olive oil, sprinkle with salt and pepper. You're going to roast those for about an hour. Roasting the tomatoes really brings out the tomato flavor, brightens it up, and definitely adds a little bit of sweetness. This is a very acidic because <laughs> It is purely tomatoes, a very acidic soup, so just be warned for that. Um, in a sauce pot, you are going to use two tablespoons of oil, or you can use butter if you prefer, over medium high heat. Um, then add some onion. We have garlic, thyme, salt and pepper, and saute that for about a minute until the uh, onions turn translucent, so maybe a minute or two. And then go ahead and add in the garlic as well, and then crushed tomatoes, basil. I used my fresh basil that uh, was kind of going from the rest of this summer season there. And then go ahead and add a little bit of sugar to cut the acidity. Stir all of this together and then let that simmer for about 10 minutes. And at that point, you're going to add two cups of chicken stock as well as your roasted tomatoes and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day 
to wash away the pain. After the 30 minutes, go ahead and use your immersion blender to blend everything nice and smooth. You can also use a food processor or a blender, but be super, super careful and do this in small batches if you are using hot liquids in something like a blender uh, because the lid will pop off and explode and make a huge mess. <laughs> uh, then go ahead and remove it from the heat and add your cream. So you're going to add about uh, two thirds cup of heavy cream, mix that all in, and then you can serve it topped with some Parmesan cheese, maybe add a little sour cream, crackers, and Sydney and I just absolutely loved this, served this with some um, pumpkin seed bread with some butter, and it was just so decadent and filling, and I definitely had two bowls, and then I had acid reflux, so there's that but it was delicious there's a new day to take away your sorrow what in the old ways get washed out by the